Hi all folks, this is Max from Epic4GTouchRoot.com. Um so today we're gonna root our phone. Um also this will unroot you back to um well up to FI03. That's uh the latest ICS out now. So it'll just basically install the latest ICS um FI03 uh via Odin. If you've been getting a lot of the updates, um you know, asking you to update your phone. You can run, run this over any stock ROM. You should be all fine to go. It will now erase everything. Um, I'm going to try it over this ROM I have here. Uh, I believe this is the... This is a Cuban, Cuban ROM. So I'm going to just install over it without um, doing a factory reset. And uh, if you're coming from like a total... If you can also... Sorry. Don't do a factory reset. Just install it first. And then you can do a factory reset um, if you have any problems after so let's do this uh, turn off your phone and uh, power it off and you're gonna get into download mo mode by holding down the volume down and the power button together for five seconds this will root your phone and also um, if you're coming from older stock ROM you'll get you up to uh, FI03 and if you're already on FI03, this will just root, give you root. Um, next, what you want to do is connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. Make sure you're not using a USB hub. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. Um, and let's go to our computer. Next, go ahead and download this uh, SPHD710 blah blah rooted no data v2.exe. This will uh, basically install it. It comes with the Odin and the stock firmware package. Double click, and uh, it will actually um, it will actually archive. Um, so go ahead and unzip it, and this will unzip the files, and uh, you can run it. Yo, there we go. And it's almost done. And uh, let's go run it. Uh, where is it? They've modified. Um, there we go. Actually, I have too many files I can't find. I'm going to just put it in test directory. So that way I can tell where it's going. Where's my test directory? So I'm extracting it twice. I'm an idiot. Um, I should have just named something. And here we go. Almost there. Go to test. There we go. Odin OC. Inside you'll find this file, blah blah dot exe. Du double click it, run it. And basically, this is Odin program with uh, everything there. Now, go ahead and unplug your phone and plug it back in. Because you're supposed to plug it back in after you run the program. And you'll see the comm sign. If you don't see the comm sign, go ahead and install drivers for your. Windows computer and also if you have Linux or Mac um, there's another way to install a rooted kernel using Heimdall but uh, I actually don't recommend it anymore because the the thing with the Epic 4G Touch is that um, the way it's made um, it's a lot more complicated than the, all the Galaxy S2's because there's so many leaked versions um, and if you install the wrong kernel it might break your Wi-Fi or stuff so best suggestion for noobs if you don't know how to use Heimdall is to use this program to root your phone. Um, that makes it simple and it makes sure you um, everything works when you use this method. That's why um, if you don't have Windows, go ahead and uh, you can download VMware uh, and install Windows inside your Mac. Or if you know, I'm sure you have a friend with a Windows computer, go borrow one for like you know 20 minutes. It only takes you 20 minutes just to root your phone. Once you root your phone. You don't really need a Windows computer, so just that's the hardest part. Anyway, um, when you're ready and you see the comp sign, go ahead and hit start. And uh, sometimes it might get it might get hung up, like where it says hidden dot image or whatever. It might just get hung up. If it if the progress bar doesn't work, uh, what you can do is just unplug it, reboot your phone into the download mode like uh, um, it's in right now. But you know, take the battery out and reboot it using the volume down the power key and then um, rerun this program and uh, also also put it on a, another USB port usually the problems caused when you first install the drivers and you try to run this Odin 
or any Odin program, um, it will hang. And the problem is sometimes you just have to plug it to another USB drive, um, USB port, and one of them will work. So, so just keep trying new USB ports if it gets uh, hung up. And also make sure if you're using a Samsung key software, it's off. You can kill it in Task, task Manager. Um, do those things and you know your Odin will work. If you get any kind of uh, keys firmware error mode on your phone, do not uh, panic. That same as download mode. Try to get into the download mode again. If you get that panic error, you can run Odin in that mode. Um, so I cover all the bases here. Anyway, I'll be back when this is done, and I'm gonna, just gonna forward, fast forward this. So it's almost done. Um, let me kind of explain how this, all of this works. Odin is basically a, you know, a tool provided by Samsung. Um, so it's pretty safe to do. I've never bricked a phone while using Odin. Um, you can brick a phone if you install one of the ICS kernels and you do a factory reset in it. That's how you brick. You can't really brick with Odin, um, but still make sure you have enough battery. Um, and if for some reason, if it doesn't, uh, if you get fail while during do, doing this, you can always reboot and do it again. Not a huge deal. Now, Odin's pretty safe to do because it's a tool provided by Samsung. Um, so I look at Odin as you know one of the most safe programs, actually for your Samsung phone. I've never had a problem. Um, I've had you know battery go out while using Odin or something stupid like the cable came out. Um, but just you can always rerun it. You'll just get that firmware error, you know which isn't a huge deal. And also, when you root your phone um, and you want to install a new ROM, just don't worry about it. Uh, right before you install a new ROM, just install Clockwork My Recovery, um, a kernel with Clockwork My Recovery. The way Epic 4G Touch works is that it has, uh, uh, the, the Clockwork My Recovery must be part of the kernel, um, unlike some of the other newer phones. So that's why I don't actually recommend uh, I mean, you can go find a kernel that's compatible with your uh, your ICS version. Let's say you can go look for FI03 kernels on XCA forums and install that if you want to make a backup of your current uh, ROM. But other than making a backup, I don't actually recommend you to uh, install Clockwork My Recovery or kernel. I mean, um, anyway, it's rebooted my phone and I've got the screen. Let me change the uh, screen here. And obviously, I didn't do a factory reset, um, even though I was coming from a custom ROM, and I should be okay because um, you know, so long as you're coming from like a TouchWiz based ROM, uh, which Blue Kuban is. But if you're coming from like CM10 or CM9, definitely you'll have to do a factory reset. Um, to do that, I would recommend to install a safe kernel because bricking happens when you do factory kernel, um, you know, on on ICS ROM. So definitely install a safe kernel first, reboot into recovery, uh, do a factory reset, and then do the whole unroot process. Um, if you're coming from like a CM10, CM9 ROM, you should be all good to go. Just don't do a factory reset unless you're on a safe kernel or a stock kernel, stock recovery. Stock recovery should be fine um, since coming from Sprint itself. And uh, it's almost done. I'll be back when this boots. All right, folks, so it's stuck at 4G. Um, I think it's because I didn't do a factory reset before coming. And uh, I'm going to just try to do a fact. I'm going to try to just reboot first. That's my first suggestion. So let me try to reboot, and I'll be back. Hi, folks. I rebooted, and actually I started getting Android is upgrading. If you see this, you're all good to go. Um, so I didn't do ha have to do a factory reset. But you can also do a factory reset. Um, it should be safe. But um, you can do that by holding down volume up and power after you turn off your phone. And once you're in stock recovery, um, do data wipe factory resets in stock recovery and reboot. Uh, but most likely you shouldn't have to if you're coming from a stock ROM or any TouchWiz based ROMs. Um, at least it will boot up. But you can do that. Or if you feel super paranoid, you can install um, you can install one of the safe kernels using Odin. By, uh, use the tar format of the kernel, the safe kernel. Uh, flash it with Odin, do a factory reset, and you can also re unroot if you feel super paranoid. Um, but you should be fine on stock stock recoveries because they're from Sprint. And if something goes wrong, you can just take it back to Sprint, it's their fault. <laughs> there we go. 
Let's clean the screen. And it's almost there. And uh, it should be back on, completely back on stock. Um, I did, however, lose, you know, my apps kind of stuff there. But my Play Store login is still there. I just have to re-sign in. Uh, all my information is there. And all my apps are still there. Just my home screen, um, it reset it because I think it was using a different launcher. Um, but that's fine. Now I've got to update it to the latest latest uh, 4.0.4 FIO3 and also you should have root and uh, let's go see root. So this is a great way if you if you messed up and you want to go back to rooted um, ICS the latest ICS just run this program and boom and you're back in business um, without having to unroot it, root it you can just unroot or unbrick your phone back to ICS, latest ICS, um, this one here. And uh, you can also do OTA updates, system updates, um, update firmware, if you want to. And uh, you can do update PRL, it's supposed to help some signals. I haven't really um, gotten any improvements by doing that, but some, some of you might, it might help. Anyway, that's how you install and um, the latest ICS and also rooted version of it. Um, it just gives you root. And uh, if you want to, if you have an Epic 4G Touch, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at epic4gtouchroot.com. We update you once a week. Actually, it's been more like once a month with ROM of the week or round of month and uh, tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone. And this should also get rid of the system update since it's the latest one. And uh, thanks you guys for watching my video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button here. Oops, sorry. Subscribe button up there and uh, like button there. And share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And stay high on Android, folks. Yeah.